Hi guys, happy uh, last day of May. Um, you know, I enjoyed doing Medusa so much last time that I think I'm going to do it again, but this time I'm going to just wing it and I'm not going to look at the um, step out and I'm not going to be very methodical in my uh, process. I'm just going to just play. Um, you know what? Should we do it on a dark page and, and draw with light? Yes. Let's do it that way. That will look different. Is this only one piece of paper? It feels like two. Very thick piece of cardstock. Okay. It's only one. Alrighty. So we're going to do it on a dark brown. It kind of looks black on camera, but it's a dark brown. And I'm going to draw with... I'm going to draw with orange. Man, yeah, let's draw with orange. What the heck? And I'm just going to just di dive right in. Um, do I want... I'm, I'm going to do kind of at an angle, so I'm going to make a make a border. Like this. And I'm going to make my first squiggle right there. not going to look at anything and we're just going to go right in and we're not going to plan anything. We are just living on the edge. One more, one more round. At least, at least one more round. One more over here. We're going to do it corner to corner like that. And that's weird. It looks black and yellow on screen, but I swear to you, this is bright orange. See, look. Now that I put my hand there, that looks better. I think it just doesn't know what to do with the white balance with the pink and the brown and the orange. Camera hasn't got a clue what to do. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, put the auras in here, but I'm going to do them one spot at a time, and I'm just going to do them randomly, and I don't know if I'm going to do them uh, right to left or left to right, and I'm going to do each little pod separately. Like that. And each one is going to go random. So I don't know which way each... Uh, each one is going to end up, and I'm going to go ahead and fill in the middle with the orange. Like so. Okay, that just looks so weird on camera. kind of moving all over the place most mostly to keep the the pen from from uh it has to dry so if i don't let it dry i will smudge it especially this middle part it's got a lot of ink in it. Let's 
So we're just going to do whatever floats our boat here for the number of stripes and however it wants to be. I'm not going to worry about two stripes or three stripes or if they match or if they've got the same size as the one next to it. I'm just not worrying about it. Okay, so while I'm doing this, oops, did you see that at all? Probably not. It was probably off screen. I'm sorry. While I'm doing this, I'm going to do a, a thing here. Remember, we're, we're aiming toward 30,000 subscribers so I can do a giveaway. If you want to win this piece, piece of art or have a chance to win this piece of art, hit that subscribe button. You don't have to... I don't do memberships yet, so, you know, subscribing is free. Memberships is the thing you pay for on YouTube. If you don't know that, that's how it works. What is the best prank you've ever played on someone? I'm not a prankster. I don't know that I've, other than maybe uh, surprise parties, really haven't done much in the way of pranking. Um... Oh, I guess you might call this a prank. I don't know if you call this a prank. So, um, when uh, when my best friend got married, we had a, a key to their apartment. We were we were house sitting for them. So while they were on their honeymoon, we went in and we uh, decorated their their bedroom with streamers and fake flowers, all petals all over the bed. And uh, gosh, it was so long ago that yes, we had we had computer banners done on a dot matrix printer with you know with the with the where the all the printer paper had the holes on the side to to feed it through the machine with the sprockets yeah it was that it was it was high tech at the time so we made them banners that said welcome home happy honeymoon that kind of thing just married and we did it all in their bedroom we just had a great old time decorating um, and we've always had keys to each other's homes that's that's one of the things um, as an emergency procedure you know when when our kids were little it was like if there's ever an emergency and you need to come over or if we were on vacation and they wanted to you know we we were would house sit each other's homes and that kind of a thing, um, and so she kind of got me back when I had my fortieth birthday. Um, since she had a key to the house, she came in and uh, for some reason she thought the pink flamingos were was was a thing that year. Um, And she made all of these signs that had a pink flamingo, and she'd made the legs. Let me let me let me do a a little demonstration here. Uh, she made the legs go like this, and then she had a a flamingo. You know, something along this line. 
something like that that she'd done and she did a four and then a zero here so it looked like a flamingo with an egg and the and the legs were the four and then she made these this bit of artwork and then she put it on pink paper and then she did hundreds of copies hundreds of copies it was crazy and then she put uh like um barbecue skewers she she uh, put them on sticks and stuck I don't know 50 or 100 of them in my front yard while I was at work and um, they'd come in and put them all over the place inside my house uh, there was one that was on the back of the door in the toilet room of the of the of our bedroom um, you know how the toilet has its own little cubby well we never close that door we we we, we you know if we need privacy um, we make sure that the bedroom door is closed or we don't have a door to our bathroom our master bedroom has this big open space but you know my husband and I don't we don't close that toilet door um, and so I didn't find I didn't find that they had put one of these little uh, decorations on the back of that door until I don't know years later when we happened to have company over and um, I needed the privacy in that bathroom uh, I rarely 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 like obviously uh, close that door and so years later here's this flamingo on the back of the door and you know what just left it it's still there it's been many many years since my 40th birthday and that flamingo is still sitting there there was one in the garage too for the longest time I don't know if that one's still sitting there but we would find them in the most random places she would she stuck them everywhere and it won't surprise me that if t 20 years later that there will be at one point in time some random flamingo th that she'd stuck in a drawer or a cupboard or a cabinet or behind some things that we never, ever, ever touch. And we will find them. And it will be hilarious. Um, when when we were teenagers it was a thing to um tp your friends houses so we did we, sh we did do that and let's see what else did we do when we were teenagers that was prank like we would kidnap each other on our birthdays and make us the the the, the moms always knew that we were going to do this and come but um like on my birthday uh, they kidnapped me and we did the same thing to our, our other friends we kidnap us make sure that we had decent pajamas pajamas that were not like embarrassing um, and come in wake them up and then uh, take them out for breakfast we're still wearing their pajamas. Um, that kind of thing. You know, nothing, nothing malicious. Nothing, nothing that would scare anybody. That, that would, I, I've never been into that kind of a thing. See, look at how easy this is. When you're not even paying attention to which way the the swirl is going, doesn't matter. Oh, this is so much fun. It's kind of like it almost just comes together like paradox does, in a swirly manner. Look at how you don't even have to think about it. Is this one going the same as that one? No, it's not. I don't. Doesn't matter. It works just fine. It just looks a little different, a little more 
Whew. You know what this looks like in on the dark with the especially on the camera because it looks more black and white than orange and brown. It looks like a um art deco wallpaper pattern, doesn't it? This is so much fun. I am just having the time of my life. Are you guys having fun? Hope you're drawing along with me cuz this is an easy one to draw along with, I think. something in here like that I'm happy ish with this I think I want to go one more one more swoop because I've got this this thing sticking out and I don't want it sticking out there so I'm gonna like that Want one more row of swoops. This is easier to do than trying to remember which way each one of these things needs to go or even how many strokes you did on each one this is way easier to remember I like this aha yep it definitely looks like an art deco wallpaper this is so much fun. I love this. Okay. So we're going to we're going to put Medusa. I'm going to put Medusa up here. And I'm going to put my signature down here. And how am I going to shade? Maybe with the um chalk pastels. Make sure everything's dry. Let's make sure it's dry while I'm thinking about a chalk pastel color. Um, do I want to use the brown? What does the brown look like on the brown? Uh, clearly, just kind of not really there. Do we want to use... That will be more of a highlight. the red do oh the red would be kind of cool let's do the red as a as a thing let's see where's my blending stump for red yellow green red orange that one reds at this end I haven't used this one yet okay uh, let's do Something like that. It's subtle. It's very subtle. Do you even see that? I'm not sure. I need more.
do kind of like that red. That's interesting. Makes an interesting color for me. And I might do a I don't know what, but I might do something. I might do something. You like that? You you like my decisiveness? I might do a something. All right, I need to talk. I need to talk about something. Let's do another card. Icebreaker. Which celebrity is the most ridiculous on social media? Oh my goodness. You want me to have commentary on ridiculous social media? Which celebrity is most ridiculous? So it doesn't have to be YouTube. That's good. I don't know. You're already asking me about c celebrities again. They're always asking about celebrities. That must be a easy question to ask about. But I'm not. I'm not one who really follows a lot of celebrities. Who's being ridiculous on social media? Well, it's been a while, but all that ridiculous controversy on on YouTube with uh, well on other social media as well with the beauty guru community that was crazy did you ever see any of that or follow any of that I was not I'm, I'm not into the beauty community or any of that but it, it permeated everywhere Jeffrey Star this and 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 what was that other kid's name? I don't remember. Dawson? Lawson? I don't know. There was a lot. There was a lot. Toddy Westbrook. James Charles, that's the kid, and all of that sort of thing. It was like craziness. I, I don't know. Absolutely don't know. But when, when it gets to be bad enough that it shows up in, in people's feed that don't follow the beauty community, you know that it's gone off the deep end. Whatever's happening has gone off the deep end. When people who don't follow beauty stuff at least know their names, right? And a lot of it is because I follow legal stuff. I love Emily D. Baker and her, her channel. And because I follow legal stuff, um, and she likes... Uh, doing the, the, the lawsuits that have to do with like social media. Like recently, I guess there's going to be some sort of lawsuit coming up that has something to do with the, the show Vanderpump Rules, which I know has something to do with, with Real Housewives of the Beverly Hills, I think. I don't watch this stuff. But when it gets out there enough that, that, uh, it's it's where I at least recognize the people's names and 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 stuff like that for things that I don't follow. Then you know it's gotten bad. The social media aspect of it has gotten bad. 
Okay, I really like that red with the orange. Do I want to do anything else? I, um, I really feel like it needs a little purple. I'm going to put some purple in there and see what happens. What is that going to do? here oh maybe ah that's where I want it I want purple as the highlight which I didn't think was a thing but I guess it is uh, where's my blending stump for purple I was using the red one which I shouldn't do I should use the purple one I used the red one because it was still in with the red, but I think I'm going to put the purple where I want the highlights. Something like that. Oh, that's, that's fun. Oh, I like that. It looks shiny. But it's still like a deep color. Ooh, that's so pretty. Oh, I really like this. Okay, let's do another question. Have you ever betrayed a friend or been betrayed by anyone? Uh, no, I don't think so. I've had, had some pretty good relationships. I don't think betrayal has ever been something. No. I was trying to think, but no, I don't think so. Do I know people who have been betrayed by people? Yeah. A couple come to mind. But has it happened to me personally? I don't think so. Well, no. I, you know what? I take it back. I had a manager who just threw me under the bus. And it was nothing I did. And it completely made up lies. Um, not just about me about another co-worker as well and then made up stuff and then had us transferred uh, and had us transferred to two different stores probably so we wouldn't uh, continue to talk to each other but you know that didn't happen because that that person and I are friends and didn't stop our friendship just because we didn't work together anymore. We were friends outside of work. We didn't start that way. We started out as just co-workers, but you know, it's been many, many years later. More than 10 years later, and we're still friends. Still help each other out. Still pray for each other's children. Yeah, but that, that manager totally threw us under the bus. Said things about us that just weren't true. And I guess that is a betrayal, isn't it? Oh, I love this. I love how this is turning out. This is just making me so happy. Now, if you would have told me 
that this is what this was going to look like. It was going to be on brown paper. Okay, think about it for a second. You're going to do a drawing on brown paper with a neon orange gel pen, and then you're going to color it with red and purple. Now, if you had said that to me, I would have not imagined this, and I would have thought, oh, that sounds awful. Those colors sound awful together. Orange and purple and red and brown. But you know what? This is looking pretty darn good. I love it. So sometimes you just have to follow your guts and your instincts and uh, and not what you think it might look like because my word I love this do you think I might put a little bit of white I don't know or is the purple enough for highlight we will just Stop there and step back and look at it from a distance. Oop, wrong way. I think it's enough. I think it's... I almost feel like... I almost feel like I want to make that dark, though, instead of light. Maybe let's let's you know I'm I'm just I'm just doing what I feel, and the first thing I feel I feel like it needs a, a darker around the edge. I'm just gonna use my brush pen and do that. It's subtle on the brown. that and then I I do feel feel like I want what do I mm, do I like that do I not like that like that. Do I like that? I like that. Okay, so what I'm wanting is a like an eyebrow sort of look just on the inside curve like that. come back and cover that with the orange again it's just like a shadow Cover up this one. Go back and fill that in. Come on. Just cover that up. Okay. <sighs> okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. All right. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's look at it. You want to zoom in close to see what it looks like? See? Isn't that pretty?
That's pretty. I like it. Is it perfect? No, my drawings are never perfect. But I really like how this looks. Oop, wrong way. I want to get it nice and close for my thumbnail. All right, you guys have a great day. Go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place, one person at a time. And I will see you on the next video. Uh, that needs to go thinner right there. Okay. And that's it. Go out and uh, hit subscribe for me. That would be appreciated so that you have a chance to win this once we hit to 30,000 subscribers. All right, you guys have a great day. See ya.